Uh, I'm here to talk about a few things about um, AMD and PyTorch. Uh, one, AMD loves PyTorch and uh, uh, unconditionally, and we're going to do uh, we're going to do anything it takes to uh, win you over as PyTorch users. Um, so, and, and I do mean it. And uh, you know, we've had like a, 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 a growing up into uh, into this uh, ecosystem, and we are here to uh, you know uh, commit. Uh, unconditionally and, and, and help grow the PyTorch ecosystem. So let's talk a, a, a little bit about what everyone knows here, uh, which is AI models need uh, you know, faster and more efficient compute. And uh, if you look at what is actually available in shipping today, uh, AMD has very competitive and uh, compelling uh, offers, um, I mean systems and, and, and software. So, Let's talk a little bit about the hardware that we have. Uh, and we are uh, leading into a, um, into a uh, yearly cadence of our, our hardware evolution. And this is, uh, you know, we have the MI300s today. Uh, and uh, later this year, you're going to see the uh, MI325s. Uh, it has uh, even more uh, memory. That's already uh, leadership. We have about uh, 192 gigs of HBM in the uh, uh, MI300 and the 325s are, you know, going well north of 250, uh, and then we're going to keep that cadence. So AMD has built this hardware well, and we are investing, continuing to invest in that. So there'll be no questions about the hardware. But the important thing that we want to talk about here is the software too, right? And so, um, you know, we we share the same DNA as PyTorch. Um, we're completely open source. And there's nothing else that you need. You know, we're not hiding anything. We believe in the openness um, for innovation uh, and for you to be able to do what you want to do to unlock the power of the hardware that we've built. Um, and so we do understand that you know, there is a, a migration from the uh, incumbent uh, you know, installations. And so we focus heavily on that. Uh, for example, uh, all the llamas that are released, day zero, you know, it just works out the box. Uh, but uh, we are taking it even further. It's not just works out the box. Now we're uh, you know, investing to make sure it's performant out the box. Uh, so you should see no um, friction in migrating to an AMD platform. And obviously, performance leadership, uh, memory capacity, bandwidth, all of that we have an advantage. Uh, and we are going to give you the software to unlock that advantage. Uh, and then again, stressing on the commitment to openness. Uh, we are open source. Uh, you know, we've had a checkered past. In, in terms of how we developed our uh, software, we're making uh, you know, heavy investments in that to make it fully open source, just like PyTorch. You can contribute in. Uh, you, can, you should be able to fix things. We want all our CIs to be running in PyTorch. Uh, we want to be a first class um, you know, AI software company. And then uh, we are you know, increasingly uh, you know, uh, getting a large swath of customers that we are, uh, and we want to uh, highlight how focused we are on enabling the customer value. And so um, it's, this, uh, it's, um, it's, co it's one of the core tenants of what, uh, what we're, um, you know, we're going to be investing in. So with all that said, I just want to show some examples of like, how do we get uh, or what can we unlock with this large uh, memory capacity advantage. So today, compared to a H100 and a Mi300, has you know, more than double the capacity of memory. And uh, for something like a text to image, this was like a partner that was uh, you know, doing creative upscale uh, on an MI300 platform, they could scale uh, upscale to a 100 pe megapixel image compared to, um, you know, uh, like a 32 megapixel image on on uh, on a H100. Um, so, as the models get larger and it gets more uh, complicated, you know, with um, with uh, uh, capacity and bandwidth, uh, you get an uh, uh, an advantage with the AMD platform. Uh, here's another example. This is with Llama 405B uh, being served on one node um, in full precision uh, or FP16. Um, and this you cannot do in competition um, with the competition hardware right now. Uh, and so again, we're going to keep pushing the envelope in terms of memory capacity, uh, memory bandwidth, uh, compute. Uh, and we, uh, uh, something that we, we don't talk about as much is also efficiency. Um, that's also something that we're going to be uh, increasingly focused on. Uh, and here's just an example of you know um, all the all the models that we run with. Basically, anything that uh, shows up on the Hugging Face leaderboard or or is released by the PyTorch team, uh, llamas, 
Uh, it should work, it should work day zero, and it should be performant. Uh, if it's not, send me an email and I'll make sure it is. <laughs> um, so, uh, and I'm not joking, that, that, that is my job, to make sure that AMD, like everyone here should know what AMD does and that you have a viable alternative um, to the incumbent. And uh, again, I just want to kind of tie it all back to, uh, you know, we're committed to open source innovation, PyTorch, Triton, Hugging Face, um, you know, VLLM, it just across the board, anything that you think is, um, uh, you know, is, uh, it, it unlocks value for you, we make sure that we invest in that. And any journey you take through the PyTorch ecosystem, we will invest in that and make sure you're successful. Thank you.